Okay, the first step in properly making sure that you're calibrating your gun the right way is to understand what your muzzle velocity is. In order to program this scope, which literally takes seconds, you have to know the muzzle velocity, the ballistic coefficient of the bullet, and you need to understand what height above bore is. A great way to start figuring out your bullet drop code is using the factory ammo bullet drop and ballistics information in the literature that comes with your scope. And then you can fine tune your bullet drop code using the Burris Ballistic Services, which you can find online at the website address on your screen. And programming the scope is really easy. Do not let it intimidate you. Don't let it scare you. None of that. It's super simple. And for me, the first thing I do is I point the scope or the rifle at the ground so that there's nothing to range because you want the scope not to actually range something. And I'm going to turn this just a little bit so that everyone can see it, but it's really easy to do. There's a series of buttons over here, the arrows on this side of the scope. And by pushing the buttons and everything, I'm going to actually go into the programming phase and this actually takes six seconds. I'm going to push this button and my forward arrow button. And I know that when I look in the scope, I'm going to have 4002. Yep, 4002. All right. Now, I'm going to come back up here so that I can look through the scope. Actually, see my program. And once again, my bullet drop code is going to be 133. But there's more to it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I've got it toggle it once, and the Y starts flashing. You can actually toggle between meters and yards. I always go with yards. So as long as the Y is flashing, I arrow forward again. Now the one is flashing. You can actually program this scope uh, to go a 100 yard or 200 yard zero. I prefer the 100 yard zero because it's easier to check 100 yard zero. Uh, the other thing that I uh, can do with this particular model of eliminator is I can go to a uh, zero code. And that's a 50 yard zero, specifically for slug guns, muzzle loaders, 450 Bushmaster, short range guns that you're now gonna try instead of shooting 100, 150 yards, you're gonna try and shoot maybe five or 600 yards with them. Okay, so I'm gonna go with the 100 yard zero. I'm gonna to toggle forward, and now I'm gonna go down to 133. Now, once again, my bullet drop code is 1133. One for 100 yard zero, 133 for the 133 yards and drop between 100 and 750 yards. I'm gonna arrow forward again now. The two digits on the far right when you're looking through should start flashing, and it's really simple. I'm gonna to toggle up to six, three, okay? That's the two digit ballistic coefficient. Now, the reason I'm gonna to go to six, three is it's six, two, five. Well, you round up. And there I am, one, two, three. Now my, I've got my ballistic coefficient set. Six, three is flashing. I hit the back arrow, it takes me out. My scope is now programmed and ready to shoot. I've got a 100 yard pure, 100 yard zero. And now I've just got to drive down to the long range steel course in the meadow that we have set up so that I can shoot 300, 400, 500, and then 750 yard steel. And if all goes well, if I did this appropriately, I'm gonna be able to hit them all with one shot each. Bing, 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 bing. Now, there's a decent chance that I get down there and I'm gonna shoot, and I might find out that my bullet drop code is off by an inch or two at 750 yards, and maybe I'm gonna miss that steel target or I'm gonna hit the bottom left corner of it. This is a steel target that's only this big at 750 yards. If I hit the bottom of it, I may give myself another inch or two of bullet drop and then come back and shoot them all again and make sure I'm hitting the center of all the steel targets because that's how you're gonna be precise. And you, it's really simple. Once again, that took me just seconds to go into the program, six seconds. I was in the program, toggle forward. I could change my bullet drop code from 133 to 135, just like that. Tell you what, let's go ahead and grab this gun, grab a box of ammo, let's head down to the meadow, and let's ring some steel. Okay. So we're down here at the meadow. I've got 300, 400, 500, and 750 yard steel targets set up out here in the meadow. So I'm gonna start at the 300 yard target. Range it up, get my dot. 300 yards, dot in the center of the target. Looking good. Yeah. 300 yards, good to go. Ooh, dead center, perfect. Let's 
smacked it. Three for three. Ding. Okay, as you can see, it took me about a half an hour from start to finish of actual work time to go from a scope in the box, to mount it on the gun, to sight it in, to chronograph, to programmed, down to the long range course, and done.